using two rackets to make some significant points, simplifying, just helping someone with their understanding of stroke reduction. This racket represents my body. This racket represents my swing. Both the body and swing are up high. Now they go down together. It'd be, it'd be, the, it'd be the same for the backhand, where the, the racket's up high, the, body, the body's up high, and they go down together. So synchronization of the body and racket shown with two rackets. Now, another two racket exercise is showing a young player, old player, the forehand volley. Now the backhand volley in this position. The leading racket is the backhand. The trailing racket is the forehand. And you can see there's far more similarities between a forehand and a backhand than there are differences. Many times what will happen is a young player will take the racket up high on their forehand and take the racket low on their backhand. But you need racket hit speed. So really, again, the more ideas you have to share with your students, the ready position, racket's up high. Racket's up high for the volleys. The racket's up high for the backswing, forehand or backhand. And then you can use transfer teaching. Say, for example, you've taught someone, well, this is how the forehand goes. Now the backhand, it goes this way. So it's still high, low, high, inside out. But that's just an idea on how to try to improve one's understanding of stroke production.